Hello everybody, my name is Gamingos and welcome to Heavy Bullets. This is not your average everyday first person shooter. No, this is your first person shooter if you dropped a ton of acid and decided to make a game. This is an indie game out on Steam published by Devolver Digital which takes an interesting look on the FPS genre mixed together with the roguelite genre. Go ahead and jump into a new game. The story is, is you're a janitor and apparently there was something wrong with the system, computer files. This time, uh, apparently it's killing people, or drop- Yeah, uh, this- the computer's killing people, so they think $5,000, janitor will solve it. A lot of lives still you lost, mainly mine. Spoiler alert. We did not sign a liability waiver, I'm not signing anything. $5,000, let's risk our life. Let's go, boys. This is heavy bullets. High-rise hunting grounds. This doesn't sound like a computer place. Oh, oh well. Now, the big point of the game is, well, it's named Heavy Bullets, is the heavy bullets that you shoot. And they're heavy indeed. These are one-hit KOs to pretty much everything in the game. But when you fire them, as you see there, I, I run out. You have to go pick them up. They're still there. So you start off the game with six bullets, and occasionally you can get more, but these are pretty much your only means of getting through the levels and killing stuff. Let's see if we can find- yeah. These little demon rabbit hellions here. They- oh my god, that's a lot of them. I've never seen this movie in the same room before. Yeah, so, they, they run at you. They're these little screaming, screechy black rabbit things with teeth that will start eating it. Where is it? Oh no, you just hear- oh, there it, You just hear the screech, and it's terror, because you're not exactly sure where they're coming from. But, see, I have to pick up all my bullets, and I'm currently missing one. So, I'm down a bullet at the moment, and it's going to be unfortunate later if I have to shoot five, I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. Here are key rooms, occasionally you'll get keys, there's normally good stuff in there. Let's see, all the enemies drop coins, the coins can be used- oh! This is- the best recording I've had yet. This is the store. You get money from killing the enemies and you can buy various things. Most of the items aren't really that good, with exception of the bullets and occasionally the homing bombs, but everything's really expensive. We'll go ahead and pick up another bullet since we lost the other one. And... Really? Really? It's just that normally they make a bouncing noise so you can just hear it off in the background. Each one does have different stuff. I'm not sure if you can destroy the machines. I know the rocks you can destroy. Let's see. After a couple shots, and they normally have some cool stuff in them. This game reminds me a lot, in the art style at least, of Hotline Miami. With the retro music and the really weird, trippy art style. Oh, that was close. I believe they do half a heart of damage. But, even though it doesn't seem like much, it adds up over time. There is no regenerating health in this game. We'll probably have to buy some health potions later. It is a permadeath game. But, it has a system where you can put money in the bank. Let's see, we'll deposit... Not shoot it. We'll deposit, let's say, 10 bucks. Is it? And you see it disappears from our bag down the bottom. We'll log off. And now the next time we spawn, or after we die, since it's permadeath, we can come to the bank and get money out. Yep. There's our balance. So, uh, after we fail, because we'll inevitably die, I've never reached level 8, I've never reached level 5, we'll be able to get our money back. Hello? You gonna be my friend? No. They're, they're, nobody's friend. Ow! Okay, so, they're these machines. I hate them more than anything. Mm, no. There's another enemy type that I hate more, but... These machines, they have a- Oh, there's two! Oh, no! That little green energy box you see back there? You need to shoot that. Ow. They do one heart worth of damage? They used to deal half a heart. Okay. Please don't shoot me. Ow. You need to be really quick about getting it. Otherwise, they will zap you, and they will shoot on sight. Now, see that I'm at a half heart. There was a health machine back here. We may have to make another trip to the bank. But here we go. We can heal by one heart for $30. We had to kill... I don't know. Can we see? Yeah, we had to kill 15 enemies 
for just enough to get one heart worth of health. So, life is incredibly precious in this game. Anything over here? There are secrets you can find hidden in walls sometimes. You'll see a wall's a little bit off, and there'll be a secret. Of... Those little screechers. The game is procedurally generated. I think all the levels are randomized. Well, procedurally generated, there is no starting level that's the same. Ah, see this little bastard? I hate these, by far, because you'll be- these are the worms. You'll be running through a level, and you'll be running past all this grass you normally see, and all of a sudden, you'll be hit, and you'll lose life. But not just that, most of the time, they'll cause poison damage. Oh! Wow, okay. This is not a good run. Most of the time, they will cause poison damage, and if you don't heal yourself, if you're under two hearts, you're probably going to die. Okay, but- missed it. Let's see if we can clip this one. Oh, yes. Good, good spot. Good spot. Yeah, but the we'll probably run into one in a minute, but those little bastards will just straight up kill you. I think I've lost more runs in this game than any of the other, to any of the other enemies. There is an item system. There's some items that are pa give you passability and they're bombs like this one. This is the mega bomb. It's a big explosion. Our goal is to reach level 8, as it said at the beginning, to... What was it? It changes every time. I think it was they were... The files were killing people or killing customers, something like that. Either way, we're doing our normal janitorial duties of, uh... Oh! Come on, please. Can't end like this. The game seems easy at first, but uh, you go ahead, download it, and try to play it. Then come back and tell me if it's easy. You'll be massacred. Thank you. The game wants to let us know that we have read life not only by blinking, but also by... Oh, that's creepy. I did not know those were a thing. I've not played much of this game. I've played maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes? Just enough to get a sense of the game. Normally, there's a little RC robot back there. Still don't have a key to get into that. Normally, I've gotten one by now. They're in these little... A little guys, something bouncing. Where is it? All right, never mind. Guess we picked it up. Well, we have enough money to go back and heal. I'm not gonna backtrack because after you get to a certain point, little lines that will kill you go across the door, so you can't go back to where you were. So if you're gonna buy something, buy it then. Do not wait or put it in the bank and hope that you get a bank. Uh oh. I didn't know we just casually had bombs either. We want something new every day. Let's see if we can take this out with a mega bomb. Oh dear. Wait, did I just drop him? Okay. Oh. It's a lot of bombs. We are on half heart, so if we touch anything, we did. This ore you can go and sell. I believe there were 30. Somebody's saying no in the comments down that, uh,. Hey, Gamingos here, you're an idiot, as it always goes. Just realized, this is a really fast-paced game normally. Probably shouldn't have- Ah! Fuck! I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I probably shouldn't be playing this at 30 FPS, but... Oh, well. Okay, I'm gonna try to move, go without stopping this time. Get through, go as fast as possible. Let's go! No medicine for us today. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. What was that? Somebody just belched loudly in my- Oh! Son of a bitch! Little worms. <laughs> they- they are nasty. Because if you're going fast, you will not see them. Ooh, that's nice. I mean... Bullets are hard to come by- Let's get it, boys. Now, there have been times where I've only had one bullet left in this game, and you're screwed at that point. You cannot, once you have one bullet, that's all you got. Can we heal here? Please? Nope, just the bank. Yeah, we'll go ahead and withdraw, since we did it last time. It's pretty much just as easy as putting in. We got our balance. I believe you can also buy life insurance policies just in case you die, but you're carrying all your money. You get some money to start off with. Can I buy it here? No. 
Let's buy the run shoes. They make us go super fast. Or, well, relatively more fast. You can run past the enemies if you really wanted to. I don't know if there's speed runs of this game. Probably are. We can jump down to level 2. Maybe we can get to level 3 before this recording's done. We're, we're not going to get to level 3. I'm gonna We're going to die first. Alright. Come here, you little hellions. I believe it looks like there's a delay. It's a good run. This is this may be the only game that I play on the channel that I do go. What? What is that? What? There's a bomb that just runs at you. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, we we really need to heal. That was convenient. I dropped my shoes. Can can I just throw my shoes? I don't know what happened. They were too hot for my feet. It's gonna be a warm here, just around this corner, I know it. Anything? Sometimes there's stuff hidden. I didn't, what? There's normally stuff on those pedestals. All right. Hello. Oh, what? Oh, come on. I think I've died to those computers. Oh, where is it? Oh! It's so nerve-wracking when you hear, hear the scream. Yes, they're killed in one shot, but when you have like three or four coming at you or you have no idea where one's coming from, it's not fun. You're gonna have a bad time. Let's try to find a secret to show you. What is this? Writing on wall strictly for a bit. Can we write on this wall? I guess not. I guess not. That's what editing's for! Still took damage from that. Jeez. Things are evil. Silver life. Let's see what this does. No! 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 Yes. Oh, frame rate, stay together, please. Ow. Out of bullets! Yeah, also, you don't. Oh, this is gonna be the death of me. You don't reload automatically. Oh! Please! Oh! You have to press R every time, or you have to press the reload button, whatever yours is, every time you want to reload. So, in between trying to run back and forth, and firing, and attempting not to get killed, you also have to do some form of item management. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that feels good. Oh, worth it. We made it to level three! We made it to level three! Cannot believe it. This may be the run. We may go all the way. The running shoes. Oh, we lost the running shoes. Uh oh. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Mm, little those worms. Like I, I, those are the scum of the earth. Honestly, I see you this time, little freaking bastard. They could be snakes. Honestly. They, they bite you and they poison you. I guess that makes... Why is that one cube like? We're not going to discriminate against... Discriminate. Hello. Peekaboo. I see you. Yeah, we're not going to discriminate against the... Okay. Apparently, whenever I say the word discriminate, something bad happens. What is that? Collect their bullets. Health, please? No, we could get the running shoes again. Oh, uh. hello. It's like whispers in the background. I don't think the recording will be loud enough here. We found a secret. This is their home. Ow. So I found something that gives me an extra heart, but it proceeds to take my entire life, and I have no health. That may have ended the run. Thanks, game. Really appreciating that. Just gotta watch out for the worms now. Or those. No! I thought it died with an explosion. Oh! The bullets were not heavy enough. 
Well, speaking of heavy bullets, this, that has been the game, Heavy Bullets. You can find it now on Steam if you're looking for a good FPS, fast-paced, roguelite game that you can just pick up for 5 to 10 minutes at a time, get a quick game done, and go on with the rest of your life. I'd suggest picking it up. Though, in reality, you're going to say you'll play it for 5 to 10 minutes, and then an hour and a half will go by, and your family will be missing you, and you'll just never come out of your room. It'll just be a life of sadness, and all that will be there is this game corrupting you forever. Enjoy.